Це завжди відходило від вчителя, від його очей, подачі, вміння заохочувати. Я дуже люблю англійську мову. Okay, guys, I'm happy to see you again in our school. So, today I have two special guests. First of all, meet my colleague, Mr. Paul. He's going to teach a lesson with me today. And would you please meet our star guest today? Dima, I'm very happy to have you here today. Thank you so much. Um, I'm happy to be here too. Thank you for your lessons, for your job. And uh, I think it, we're going to have a quite great time. Yeah. Paul, can you say a little bit about yourself, please? Yes, as Olga said, I work with Olga. I'm an English teacher and a PE teacher, and I lived in Ukraine for 10 years. Okay, so guys, we start. The first activity. Now, you will see some words on the screen, and they are not in the correct order. You have to put these words in order to make phrases that you will need for the conversation. And you need to add a question mark, if needed, of course, and punctuation, if necessary. So, take a careful look on these sentences. Mm. Okay, so, the first one. So, what we've got? We've got some, club, like, about, please, judo, information, the, I'd. What a long sentence! Oh my god! <laughs> Dima, are you puzzled? Uh, it's a um, little trouble. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I can make like, I'd like, but I don't I'd see like to. I'd like some, some ah, I'd like some information, information? about judo, judo, judo club. Club, yeah. So, Paul, is that right? Let's see. I'd like some information about the judo club, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> please, we need to be polite. We okay. forgot about magic word. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this next one, pretty easy one, right? Um, I, I hope so. I, I think Will you so, try? Yeah. Th this is like... Uh, Thank you for help. Yeah, mostly. Paul? Thanks for your help. That's oh. right. We've got thanks. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Dima. Okay, what about the next one? A longer one. Bring some special do clothes. I, uh, to, mm -hmm. so. May yeah. I uh, Yeah, of try? course. Uh, do I have to bring uh, special clothes? Paul, is that right? Let's see. Okay. Do I have to bring special clothes? That's right. Clothes. Dima, clothes, yeah? Clothes. So good. Okay, the next one. Eat much cost does how? Mm -hmm. How much does it cost? So quick, Paul. I think he may be right. How much does it cost? That's right. Okay, the last one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you've got, you can help how I. I'm, I, I'm like, no, I'm like Master Yoda, right? <laughs> like resembling all the words, but, okay, what is the right one? How can I help you? Paul, is that right one? You could be right again. Okay. How can I help you? That's right. Okay, guys, would you please repeat all these phrases after Mr. Paul? Okay, so Paul, the first one. I'd like some information about the judo club, please. Good. The second one. Thanks for your help. Okay, the next one. Do I have to bring special clothes? And the fourth. How much does it cost? And number five. How can I help you? Good. Now we are ready to listen to the dialogues and to listen to the ad. Paul, what's that? It looks like a difficult task for Dima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but actually it is not, because it's the ad that Paul saw in the newspaper. Uh -huh. So, Paul is going to read this ad. Dima, you can see gaps, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, take your time. 
And if you need a pen and a pencil or a pencil, and if you need to write I have something down, you can. So Paul reads the ad, and you have to fill in the blanks with the correct information. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, I'll try. Okay. You ready, Dima? Yes. Okay. Kiev Open Gym, Teen Zone. For teenagers 12 to 17 years old. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 300 grivna per month. Try CrossFit, Zuma, and weight lifting. Okay. Dima, do you need to listen to it once again? Oh, if it's possible, <laughs> it, it, it will be great. Okay, guys, we're going to listen to it once again. Kiev Open Gym Teen Zone for teenagers 12 to 17 years old. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 300 grivna per month. Try CrossFit, Zuma and weightlifting. Okay, so Dima. Yes. And the guys, are you ready? So I need to repeat this, right? Yeah. Would you please read it? Uh huh. Okay. Um, Kiev Open Gym Teen Zone for teenagers from 12 till seven, to 17 years old. Okay. Um, um, open um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Okay. Mondays, we Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Fridays. Okay. From 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. Okay. Uh, 300 uh, grivnas per, per month. Mm -hmm. Try uh, CrossFit, Zumba, and Weightlifting. Weightlifting. Let's check. So here are the correct answers. Guys, now you'll see if Dima did everything good. Okay. Okay, so Dima. Excellent. 17, Mondays, Wednesdays, 8 a.m., 300 grivnas, CrossFit. So, great job. Okay, we can proceed and move on. Now, here is the dialogue. Imagine that you want to go to the sports center and you need to call the receptionist and ask about the information. The activity is the same. I'm going to read this dialogue together with Mr. Paul. And you have to fill in the gaps with the information that is missing now. But we'll read it out loud for you. And then we'll try to act out nearly the same dialogue. Okay, guys, are you ready? So, Paul, are you going to be a receptionist or Ashley? I'll be the receptionist, please, Olga. Definitely, Paul, the fittest English teacher in Ukraine. Then I'll be Ashley. Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, this is the Kiev Open Gym. Good afternoon, I'd like some information, please. Certainly, how can I help you? I believe you have CrossFit lessons at the Sports Center. Who are the lessons for? They are for children and teenagers between the age of 12 and 17. Oh, perfect. What days are the lessons? They are on Monday and Thursday. Can you tell me what time they are? Each lesson is one and a half hours long and between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Aha! Uh -huh. How much do they cost? It is 300 grivna per month. Okay, thank you for help. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Okay, so Dima yes. and the kids, <laughs> did you get all the information? Um, or you need to listen to it once again? Uh, I think... Uh, Let's listen to it once again one, to be sure. One more time, just one more time. Okay. Understand. Okay, so once again, Paul. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. This is the Kiev Open Gym. Good afternoon. I'd like some information, please. Certainly. How can I help you? 
I believe you have CrossFit lessons at the sports center. Who are the lessons for? They are for children and teenagers between the ages of 12 to 17. Oh, perfect. What days are the lessons? They are on Monday and Thursday. Can you tell me what time they are? Each lesson is one and a half hours long and between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Uh-huh. How much do they cost? It is 300 grievna per month. Okay. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Okay, Dima. I, now, I think I got it. Got it? I think okay. I got it. Go. Now it's your turn. So, okay, am I a receptionist or am I Ashley? You have to discuss it with Mr. Paul. <laughs> Mr. Paul, who would you like to be? Uh, I'll stay as receptionist. Okay, so I'll, I'll be Ashley. Okay, guys, start. Good afternoon. This is the Kiev Open Gym. Good afternoon. I'd like some information, please. Certainly. How can I help you? I believe you have a CrossFit lessons at the Sports Center. Who are the lessons for? They are for children and teenagers between the ages of 12 to 17. Oh, perfect. What days are, uh, are the lessons? They are on Monday and Thursday. Uh, can, you tell me, uh, can you tell me what time they are? Each lesson is one and a half hours long and between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Oh, how much do they cost? It is 300 grievna per month. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Great job, guys. That was awesome. Thank you. Now, let's check if Dima got everything right. So, Kiev Open Gym. But guys, when you're calling to the sports center, the name can be different. Like Paul's uh, gym. Yeah. Like or, Paul's or gym. Or Dima and Paul. Oh, Dima and Paul gym. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Then. Uh, you may be interested not only in CrossFit, but in any other sports. So you can replace this word with any other kind of sport you are interested in. Like breakdance. Yeah, maybe all just dancing or something else. Okay, then you're, you may be interested in classes for different age groups. Maybe you want your mother or even grandmother or granddad to go to the gym. Then you'll be interested in the age group not like 12 and 17, right? Okay, then the days that the lessons are. So you, you can say Mondays, Tuesdays, weekends, whatever. So you, you can change this information too. Then the duration of the lesson. Here we've got hour and a half, a very long workout. Dima, by the way, do you work out and how long are your workouts? I have a workout, uh, I have my personal trainer on my phone uh -huh. and uh, my workouts uh, for a day is an, an, um, for about an hour. Hour. Not, not hour and a half, because mm -hmm. hour and a half uh, it's like too much for me, because uh, I have a lot of dances in my life and a lot of performances and traveling, so we need to keep, keep the energy. Yes. Okay. So, and they can be like the time zone can be really different, like not from 8 a.m. only to 8 p.m. They can start earlier or later. Then the price also varies. So 300 grimnas is just, we just pretended it to be like this. The price can be different. Okay. So guys, are you ready to practice it, but without this dialect? Dima, Paul, are you ready? Uh, let's try. Let's, yes, try. let's try. Let's try, Dima, let's try. Okay, guys, let's get ready. Okay, uh -huh. but before that, here is the speaking bank, and here are the useful expressions that may help you lead this conversation. Can you guess those phrases? They were all in the dialogue you read before. Okay. Dima, can you guess the first one? Uh, I'd like to to have some information, please. Mm, or just, I'd like some... I'd like uh, some, some information, information. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do the second one. How can I help you, right? Okay, Mr. Paul, what about the third one? Uh, maybe, can you tell me what time they are? Okay, Dima? 
What how about much the next do one? they cost? How much do they cost? Right. How much do they cost? Um, you are welcome. And thank you for calling. Okay. Let's read once again them after Mr. Paul. I'd like some information, please. How can I help you? Can you tell me what time they are? How much do they cost? You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Okay, now 100% readiness for the dialogue. Off we go. So practice makes perfect. You will have to use the diagram to prepare another dialogue. Guys, you can change the information now. Try not to stick to the dialogue we read before. So, and again, we've got a receptionist and you, the person who is going to call the sports center. So the first phrase comes uh, from the receptionist and he or she is answering the phone and giving the name of the gym. Then is your reaction. You say that you want some information. After that, the receptionist offers some help. Mm -hmm. And uh, you ask about the lessons for teenagers. After that, the receptionist tells the ages of the classes. And uh, still you've got some more questions. You have to ask about when they have lessons, the days and times. Remember, Mondays or Thursdays and times like 8 a.m. or 9 p.m., any days and any time. Then uh, the receptionist gives you the days and times and uh, you ask about the price for the lessons and then the receptionist gives the price and you finish the conversation by saying thank you and saying goodbye. Okay, so guys, maybe you can change roles. Uh, okay, so I'm the, the re receptionist, right? Would you like to try? Uh, I'd like to try. I, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. You're scared? But I hope we'll, oh. we'll make it. Okay. So, um, hello, this is a Rhythm Gym. How can I help you? Oh, good morning. I'm interested in losing weight. What classes do you have? Oh, we have, uh, uh, we have, um, Mm, weightlifting lessons, we have a crossfit, uh, we have a breakdance, and we have a yoga. <laughs> Calm oh. yoga for losing weight. Okay. New program. Sounds very interesting. Also, can I bring my teenage daughter? What classes do you have for teenagers? Oh, yes, of course. We have a classes uh, from 12 to 17 years. Uh, how old is your daughter? My daughter is 15. Oh, so we have a classes for her. Uh, and I suggest, uh, I suggest a weightlifting and CrossFit and breakdance. I think she'd like it. She'd like it. She's, she's going to like it. She's going to like it, right? Okay, great. I, I will give her your advice. But uh, she has a busy schedule, lots of homework to do. Could you tell me when... The lessons take place and what days? Um, it's, uh, it is on Fridays uh, and um, Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, and it's um, right after school uh, in 5 p.m., right? At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. At, at 5 p.m. each lesson okay. at, in Ex these days. Excellent. Uh, thank you for that information, Dima. But my daughter is obviously a teenager, so I don't have so much money. How much would it cost for her? Um, it is um, 300 rinas per each, for each lesson. And I think it's not so expensive. OK, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. We're waiting for you. Goodbye. Ding. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, did you like your conversation? Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. It's very interesting to very practice. Interesting. And I need to practice English more. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, talking with you, and I understand that I need to practice English more. Yeah, because practice makes perfect. Yes. If you don't practice, then you lose it. Guys, English is not knowledge. 
English is not science. English is a skill. You need to practice it every day to be competitive and to be successful in it. Okay, guys, so, Mr. Paul, you were a very responsible parent and Dima, you were quite a good receptionist. Thank you. Guys, would you like to switch roles? Now, this time, Dima, you are the customer and you are calling to the gym uh -huh. and Paul, you are the receptionist or maybe the gym owner. Uh -huh. Okay, so, start. Hello. This is Paul's Fitness Center. How can I help you? Hello, Paul Fitness Center. It's me, Annoying Klein, once again. I just watched uh, the new... Oh, no, I just watched the uh, old movie uh, which called Dirty Dancing, first and second part, and I decided that, that I want to be the greatest dancer. So uh, my answer is, do you have a dance classes uh, in your gym? Yes, we do. Oh, what this... type of dance classes are you interested in? I'm like some, some energy full of may maybe salsa, maybe, um, maybe uh, rumba, maybe house dance. Okay, all of our dance classes are age specific. Mm -hmm. May I ask you how old the person is who will be dancing? <laughs> The person who will be dancing is uh, like 34 years old, but I have two kids uh, who are three and four years old. Do you have a classes for them so I can bring them with me? Yes, we do. We have classes from teenagers all the way down to kindergarten. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Uh, and uh, what days uh, the classes are? Our classes for the youngest children start at 12 p.m. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much. How much do these lessons cost? You need to pay a monthly fee and this monthly fee is 300 grivna per month. Oh, that's a great price. I like it. Uh, thank you so much for your information. You're welcome. I think we'll... So, you did a great come. job once again. Okay, so guys, did you like how Dima and Mr. Paul worked during this lesson? Now, we're nearly at the end of this lesson. So, Paul, what is it going to be? What kind of home task are we going to give to the kids? Mm. Maybe uh, they have to try and do what Dima did? Great. That's a great idea. So, guys, would you po follow this very scheme and would you please make your own dialect, like if you were calling to the sports center and asking for the lessons for you. So, once again, I want to remind you the scheme you have to follow. Of course, there should be two people in your conversation. There, there has to be a receptionist and you. So, the receptionist answers the phone and gives the name of the gym invent any name you want. Then you say your information. Then the receptionist offers you help and you ask about the lessons for teenagers or for any other age group. Remember, Dima asked uh, about the lessons for his children aged three and four. So, and uh, then uh, the receptionist tells you the ages and the classes then you have to ask once again about if uh, they are available on Mondays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So you ask about when they have lessons and you give the days and times. So then the price and the receptionist gives the price and don't forget to finish the conversation politely. So, pretend that you're the receptionist or pretend that you are calling, actually. Ask your friends to support you and shoot a video. Post it somewhere, post it on Instagram on, or on TikTok. We will be following you and we'll see those videos and we'll see that you are watching us and you are studying with us. So, today I was really happy to have you in our class. I was really happy to have Mr. Paul and Dima. Guys, thank you for this awesome lesson. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Thank, thank you, you Pani Olga. It's a big pleasure. So, guys, the bell has gone. See you next time.
круті педагоги, і було цікаво з ними поспілкуватись, попрактикувати свій англійський. Тим більше Пол, він педагог, який із Лондону тривалий час там жив, і в нього такий справжній лондонський акцент, який дуже складно деколи зрозуміти. Але це крута практика, тому що якщо ти в цьому акценті зможеш виняти якісь слова, речення і зрозуміти, про що йде мова, то пані Ольга тут вона більш така лояльна до учня, то містер Пол він такий безпрецедентний. Суто інглиш. Інглиш, you know? Англійський — це взагалі практика, це лайфстайл, це весь час розмова, дивитись фільми на англійську мову, дивитись якісь передачі, сіткоми на англійську мову. Це дуже розвиває, намагатись повторювати. Або дивитись наші онлайн-уроки.